always remember. Bad days do not mean that you have failed. Your achievements are still there. Your effort was still worth it. Bad days won't last forever. But sometimes you just need those days in order to recharge yourself and come back with more energy than ever. Oh my goodness, you guys, it sounds so surreal to be saying my September monthly reset because how is it September already? I've done a monthly reset every month this year so you can go ahead and catch up on my old ones if you'd like. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you what I'm doing to prep for the new month. And again, how is it September? Feel free to grab something to eat or drink or even have this video playing in the background as you prep for the new month with me. I'm trying Jalex nails for the first time. So Jalex nails, it's basically like press on nails but it's cured under a uv light so it kind of looks like acrylic nails but it's just the nail that is stuck onto your actual nails and it's supposed to last really really long this is the first time i'm trying it out you can probably go google it for a better explanation so i'm trying these out for you and i will let you know what i think next month if i'll be sticking to gel x nails or if i'll just be going back to normal gel polish we just sleep on the couch no place to go home now, but I'm sleeping so sound when you stick around. Grew out of our hometown, cause the city's so loud. I was going to drive out to see what the lights out to want to be found. Remember your mom said We gotta wake up It's time to live in the real world Get out of your dream world You're making it up You were working a dead end The drive through You pretend You play cool But seven years have worn you down And you've had enough Right now, I am loving how these nails are looking. It definitely took a lot less time than actually having to draw on the French tips. And I think that you can get Jalex nails in a lot of different patterns, so you can always play around. I think you can even do these at home, but I'm not gonna be ever doing that. <laughs> but let me know what you think about these. It has been two months since I've been living in my new home and my bathroom vanity is the one place that I didn't really organize properly so I wanted to do that with you. In my last monthly reset I kind of went through my organization of my shower shelf so you can go ahead and check that out but right now I'm just going to go ahead and vacuum out all of my drawers and then set it up with my skincare as well as some extra products that I have. I definitely can organize this a lot better but I wanted to start because I tend to have that perfectionist problem where I'm not going to do anything unless it's perfect but I'm trying to cut that out. So I'm organizing it with what I have right now and later on I will play around and possibly buy new storage and change things up. Stars. No money or fame, but all I want is your heart. 
We're flying under the radar in a broken down car. Not a lot, but it feels right. Is this what it feels like to fly under the radar? Every month I love shopping for some new groceries or fresh produce. I just picked up a few things this time, some celery, strawberries, cherry tomatoes, eggplant and romaine lettuce. Romaine lettuce is practically a staple, you probably see this in every single monthly reset. Prepping for the new month with food and fresh fruits and vegetables really set me on the right track because it prevents me from feeling to binge eat or just buy unhealthy snacks. When I have all of my fruits and vegetables especially prepped up, it makes it so easy for me to just grab some celery sticks if I'm feeling snackish or just make a salad really quickly because everything is washed. And speaking about washing, we're going to wash and soak my celery tomatoes as well as my strawberries. I love using baking soda and vinegar. I feel like if this is the perfect DIY inexpensive fruits and vegetables wash that you can make. There are pre-made ones. I've never tried them before. If I see it, I probably will just pick it up to try it but honestly this is just really inexpensive and easy to make and it helps to soak all of your fruits and vegetables and wash away all of the impurities and soil and just any ickies that might be there. I love using these containers as well because it has like that built-in straining effect so when I'm finished washing it I will just strain it and dry it and then pack all of these things away so it's very easy for me to access and grab when I need. See your face in a stranger as they're passing by I, I swear sometimes I can hear you from the other side I can't make out the words but it's a voice I recognize One look at this photograph The tears come flooding and my mind starts rushing back to the places we used to live. Ain't it cruel how it all is just like that? How come life takes the best of us? You were only 17, just growing up. Tell me why does it hurt so bad when I look at this photograph? you that night before it all went down down didn't know what to say so i just shut my mouth it's too late now all i can do is make you proud one look at this photograph it feels come flooding and my mind starts rushing back to the place we used to live in a cruel how it all is just like that how come life takes the best of us you were only 17 just growing up tell me why if you're now starting to wash and soak and prep your vegetables, it may seem like such a chore. It might seem really, really tedious. But honestly, once you get over it and you get into that routine of doing it, it is so much easier and you'll see how much worth it it is. It will save so much time in the long run because instead of having to wash things every time you eat, you'll have everything cleaned and ready for you. When I look at this photograph,
I wanted to share that I'm reading the Twisted Love series. I finished the first book and I'm on to the second book now. My only thing is that I don't like the switching of characters. I prefer to just have the one character narrating as well as being the main focus of the book. But they're really good spicy reads and I'm enjoying the storyline right now. Last up, this is the most random thing ever, but I finally got my window box and I wanted to put flowers for my cats to look at because I wanted to attract some insects and butterflies and bees for them to observe during the day. You know, that is just natural cat TV. These are petunias and they have been loving them so far and hopefully they bloom. Wish me luck. I've never had flowering plants before, but I hope that the next time you see them, these will be a really pretty big bush. So that is the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thumbs it up if you did and don't forget to subscribe on your way out so you won't miss a thing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.